What's going on everybody? Welcome back. So, it happened. I got a lifetime Tamarack kayak. Uh, I got this for two reasons. One, I wanted to get on more bodies of water so that you guys can see more fishing videos. And two, I'm going to start competing in the KBL, the Kayak Bass League. They hold tournaments in Illinois and Wisconsin. Uh, there will be four events, with a fifth event being the championship. Super fun idea. Now the downside is I'm gonna be going up against a lot of guys that spent a small fortune on their kayaks. I did not. I bought this thing at Walmart for under $200. It was like 175. It was a great deal. I couldn't pass it up, but I figured, hey, I can at least get on a bunch of bodies of water. So that means we're gonna be taking the $175 kayak up against $2,000 kayaks in tournament. That's gonna be difficult, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, this is not you know, a high-end kayak by any means, but I want to see if you can compete in a kayak tournament with an inexpensive kayak. So let's go over a few of the features of the Tamarack. Um, it is 120 inches or 10 feet. Uh, this is the Angler and it is going to be a pretty basic bare bones kayak, but I have a lot of videos that I'm gonna do with me upgrading this here in the near future. So let's jump into some of the features that it has. <clears throat> First and foremost, it does come with a Scotty Mounts rod holder. I haven't decided if I wanna get rid of this or if I wanna keep it here, but it does come with it. I've watched a hundred videos on this thing. This seat is garbage. Everyone says the same thing, and it's just a, ch a crappy seat. Um, it really, really is. It's, it's not gonna be a good seat. Um, it's not comfortable. It's, it's just not good. So the first thing we're gonna do is get an extra seat and upgrade this. So yes, there's gonna be a lot of modification videos coming in the near future, so please keep an eye out. The, uh, the actual paddle's kind of okay-ish. Does have a very nice back space back here for my kayak crate. And then I've seen a lot of videos where people put things right here so that uh, it's like a little plate, but I have a better idea for this. It does unlock, there we go. And then you just got that little area down there. You can use it for storage. Some people put sonar on here. I'm not gonna put standard sonar on here. I think I have a better and easier idea. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, on the back here, there are two, one, two uh, rod holders. I do think I'm gonna use maybe one of these two for the camera um, and the other one as a normal rod holder. So there's that, that's gonna be pretty cool. Uh, when I did get this, it came with obviously one handle here, like a tow handle here in the back. And it also had another tow handle here on the front. However, as you can see, this piece has broken off. So I have a better idea now that this piece is already broken off I think what we're gonna do is make this a through hole, kind of drill this out um, and take this off of here and switch it with the one that's there. That's gonna be step one. And what we will do, put the handle back here, through that, and then use the through hole that's gonna be there and use it for a battery charger for my phone. So when you're doing kayak tournaments, you need to have your phone always charged. And I feel like it's gonna be a situation where I'm gonna need more cell phone space, like more battery life, lots of it. So I went out and I bought a bunch of those little recharge kits, uh, the little recharge power banks. So I think those are gonna be my saving grace, if you will, because you have to take a bunch of pictures with your phone. And I'm also gonna use my phone as a GPS for while I'm out on the lakes. So it's gonna run through a lot of battery. But if I have those battery backup chargers, I should be able to survive a much longer period of time with my phone. I don't know how many I'm gonna truly need, so I bought a few. And we're gonna basically take it and put it underneath inside. And we're gonna use that as our battery bank for my phone. I don't wanna spend a lot of money on this. The whole purpose of this kayak is to not spend a lot of money and be able to compete in kayak tournaments. That's the game plan. I have already gone out and bought all the bits and pieces that I need for the basics, but I'm gonna just put it kind of together so you guys can see how my loadout's gonna be. So guys, one of the things that we have to do is have a leash, leash for 
our paddle. So I figured that will go right here. There's already a piece to kind of hold it in place. So we will strap this bad boy right here to the handle. It's got a clip. Then this piece of Velcro here just goes right on it to the handle. Now, this is something cool that the Kayak Bass League forces people to have. They do not want people basically getting out there and getting stranded without this, without their paddle. So that is actually a part of their regulations for the tournaments. So step one complete. Step two is the kayak crate. Now, I'm gonna actually take all this stuff out, but as you can see, it's gonna have to go back here. <clears throat> now, how do we get out of that? Well, I think first and foremost, set it here, the space we need. I think we're going to want it to be moved back for extra storage. And does this come off? No, this is locked in here already. Okay. So, so now the question becomes, oh, look at that. Now if we go up and over, like this, look at that. It's going a whole bunch of nowhere. So, without even knowing, Flip. So we just need to find a way to anchor it in the front, but all in all, that's going to hold pretty good. Maybe do it like that. Yeah, like that. That'll even keep my stuff inside. Um, and I think we just need to kind of find one more anchor point for that. So what I did is I just ran over and got a carabiner. <clears throat> and we're going to take the carabiner and just clip it onto the box. And I'll show you guys this here in just a second. And then use the carabiner to lock that front piece down. So let's take a quick glance at that so you guys can see it all. So all we did was we strung this over so it's gonna lock this in place. Then we took a carabiner, attached it to right here, and to this, and it's going a whole bunch of nowhere. And then of course we have the paddle and the leash, which will line up perfectly to right there. Bingo. And for step one, that's really about it. We don't really need to do anything else to go out and fish. We're ready to go. We have a bunch of storage. Uh, we have places to hold our rods. We have safety first. There isn't much left to do here. Uh, so this would be the absolute minimum. Uh, I am going to attach a anchor trolley. I think an anchor trolley is going to be key. And after that, a couple more minor changes and we're done. So that's easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Thanks Rob, appreciate that the tagline. It's good stuff. So let's just uh, take a look at the final product here, huh? Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I have a lot more kayak videos coming here in the very near future. Updates, changes, things to the kayak, anything that I do to it, I want you guys to know. And of course, I'm gonna take you guys out with me when I hit up these tournaments. The first one is going to be on May 6th. That is going to be my first tournament. It's gonna to be on Lake Coffeen down in Caffeen, Illinois, I guess. It's a few hours from here. So, fishing videos. Lots of them. I'm gonna be mostly doing fishing videos uh, unless there's a foosball tournament or some kind of foosball event that happens. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if there's any type of things you think I should do to this kayak, I would love to hear them. I really want you know, a lot of stuff of what people have done to make their kayak something special. The goal is to not spend a lot of money. I want to keep the entire kayak build as inexpensive as possible, as modular as possible, so I can make changes to it and not get locked in. I just think it's the best way of doing a kayak with how often you change it, depending on the body of water, everything. And I want to keep it inexpensive and go up against some of these huge kayak guys with multi-thousand dollar kayaks. <sighs> that is going to be a tall order. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, gentlemen and ladies, happy foozing.